Very excited about this one. We got some Opeachy 2023 Fat Packs. Let's get it. Fat Pack number one. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. This is Opeachy 23, of course. I know there is a Connor Bedard here, and that is the goal to get any Bedard. I haven't been able to get any Series 2. I mean, it's kind of wild with those prices. There's the back. So if I can get at least a Bedard in Opeachy, I just want the card. So I'm not looking to for any resale value or anything like that. He's the hottest rookie in a while, so I would just want a Connor Bedard rookie. That's all I'm looking for, just for me and my collection. But I normally don't open Opeachy. I like to go for the Upper Deck Series 1 and 2, you know, um, and stuff like that. But Opeachy, they did have quite a few at Target. And there was actually quite a few uh, fat packs, so I took five of them that you see here to see if we can hit. Okay, here we go. I know there is uh, different colors here. We have the TJ Oshi blue. Oh, the back has the blue also. That's pretty nice. Put that here. And our marquee rookie. Samuel Bolduc. So I guess marquee rookie here is like the Young Guns for Upper Deck, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, wrong, anyone. But there we go. He is our first marquee rookie. We have Mackie Samuskevich for Florida. Hey, we have a 2023 All Stars of Bo Horvet. Elias Lindholm on these. I forget what these are called, but these I saw pictures of them online when I was uh, doing a little bit of research to see what you could get from this. These are pretty cool uh, inserts. Kind of nice and colorful. Ryan Sutter. Dylan Gugunther. And then I assume that the rest from here on out will be some base. But I have to say, these cards feel good. They feel sturdy in the hand. You know, they don't feel like they're gonna bend if you uh, grab them incorrectly or something like that. So I can appreciate that. It is kind of a little thicker cardboard. So I like it. Fat pack number two. Okay, here we go. Jack Campbell opening it up. There's going to be a lot of cards here to the side. So let me organize this. Eklund, Schultz. So yeah, I wonder how big this set is because I think it's very affordable. At least through retail. I haven't seen what hobby prices are. Okay, here we have our first marquee rookie, Matt Murray. Kale McCarr on the All-Star. Vincent Iorio for the next marquee rookie. Okay, and here we have these others. Got to find out what these are called before the video is over. Matthew Joseph. Vitek. And we got the rest of uh, the base. I know that I believe there is, I don't know if you can get autographs in these. I assume you can. I know they, I know when I was reading up, Opichi does have a lot of uh, inserts and stuff that are, and different parallels that are um, hobby exclusive. Like I, I found more than other products, I think. So I don't know what else you can get from uh, fat packs or retail. Pack number three. All right, here we go. Third fat pack. Okay, so those uh, kind of colorful, colorful ones are 
base retro cards. I just read it on the back of one of the uh, packs just to make sure. So yes, those are red retro um, base retro. I think if I read correctly. All right, here we go. We have an Opichi Premiere. Okay, I think these are like one every 12 packs or something like that. So these aren't super common, but we'll take it. An Opichi Premiere, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. It has a little uh, whitening there on that top, but that is fine. We will take it. Let's see what our marquee rookies are. There, Leo Carlson, Eric Carlson for the all-star one. Hey, these come in rookie too. I like that. Billy Su Sweezy. I love these colors. I like it a lot. And Liam O'Brien. And then we finish off with the base. But yeah. That was interesting. We'll have to check that um, premiere. I'll check to see how rare that is, if indeed it is rare. And we haven't gotten another blue border, blue uh, parallel. That's interesting. Those are the more common ones. We've only gotten one. Fat pack number four. Let's get it. All right. So there we got Nicholas Roy. So, yes, I was reading in the premiere are those OPG premiere are one every 12, every 12 packs. So, hey, we got one that's uh, not the super, super um, common one. So we'll take it. Hey, and here we have a blue. I think blue is one in every three. So nothing special about these. Then we got our marquee rookie. I think the red ones are more are the more rare ones we go robertson here we got carlson ekholm and vlasic and then we finish off with this base so yeah and i don't think you can get actually any um Any autographs from this, from what I was looking at the back of the pack, I think it's only those, inst I think autos and all that stuff are reserved for hobby, which A, I get. Fifth and final fat pack. There we go. Let's finish up strong. I have to say, haven't gotten anything. Well, we haven't gotten any Bedar, which I know is here because I looked up the checklist and he is in this set. Of course, probably not the most common one, but he is somewhere here. There we go, Marky. Are these rookies? Let me see. Okay, so these, he's a 2020. Yeah, because I had noticed that some of these that say Marky Rookie, I don't think they're like just this year's rookie. I don't know. That one says that in 2022 he played, I guess, with the Maple Leafs. So I don't know how he is a marquee rookie. Are these this year's rookies then? Okay, this might be, I guess it might be these. We've got Matthew Poitras. And this guy in shorts. So I do not think that um, that there's any more opportunity to get any um, top rookies. But hey, we tried Alex Touch. But I do like um, how these feel. I think they are strong cards. I like them. Can't complain too much about Opeachy here. Good to go. All right, so we're going to go over mostly the marquee rookies and the other inserts that we got. There we go. So you guys can take a look at them. I don't think I got anything special 
but it's always a fun rip and always a good try. So these are the Marquee Rookies in OPC 2023. So we got the this version, the like retro in Rookie, and we got Rookies in them. These I liked. Then we got the Blues, the Blue Parallels, and the last one was the Leon Dreisel in the Opichi Premier, which is, I think, the rarer of the cars that we got. But other than that, that was a try at Opichi 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love opening my hockey products. They're always nice. And I'll see you next time. Take care.